I found it. It's located on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Si Wu Wei Grover, it's here. Here. Huh. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the Crownless. Rover, about the sugar pearl. <sighs> Life has never been easy after the lament, but I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou, and severing all communication with other cities, desperation ran high. Words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed... We owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the sugar pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... Hmm, but you are not from Jinzhou. Maybe the place you came from had a similar situation. With this thought, perhaps, the reports about the sugar pearl are just one part of the clues. The other part about your past and memories is hidden in the documents on the way shelf. What do you think, Rover, about the sugar pearl? Zhenzhou was the most recent city established in Huanglong. The mountains of spirits running from north to south divide Huanglong in two. The capital and the five cities are located in inner Huanglong, while Zhenzhou is in outer Huanglong. The battle of gorges of spirits was the catalyst to found Zhenzhou. Tacit discords were born in the Norfolk barons, and their invasion route was originally traceable. However, the emergence of the Crownless changed it. The Crownless is a tacit discord that embodies war itself. The hatred of the fallen warriors and the fear of the survivors are the ingredients for it. With the limited information available, some researchers have speculated its connection with the Thrinodian. When it comes to the Thrinodian, there is a lot to tell. For now, think of it this way. The Thrinodian is the most powerful tacit discord. The battle of the Thrinodian that happened long ago was to fend it off. According to the reports, 
The crownless is very similar to the formidable tacit discord we encountered. Our sentinel, Jue, manifested before us in that battle. Rover, about the sugar pearl. We have the symbol Wei now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. What do you think, Rover? I've only seen our Magistrate once at the appointment ceremony, so I can't comment on her personality, but her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Counselor Chang Li due to the young age of the Magistrate. Lady Chang Li is our magistrate's advisor and former teacher. She once held a high position in the Central Secretariat, but she requested a transfer to Zhenzhou. I've also heard rumors painting her as a cunning manipulator rather than a loyal servant. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Mm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baija said he is in great health, no issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special, a typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha! All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality! All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.
Mrs. Panwa, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Baijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Baijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? Baija said the leaf bears the frequencies of tacit discords, so it must be from a tree near a tacit field. Then we must leave the city to pursue this lead. An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits and the Norfolk barons. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk barons. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk barons. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Without a doubt. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came back. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. What is your business, young lady? It's my third shift, and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please, I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may. I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. 
I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen. Nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Sure. So you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Mr. Zhongye seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongye has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. This mango scene? It's got some fresh looking leaves, soft springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? 
Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he alright? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we the Midnight Rangers would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Thank you. Now if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. <laughs> 